Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing something really fun and it's this smoked out wing liner look. It turned out so perfect and I had so much fun filming it. So if you guys wanna see how to get this look, then please keep watching. So since the look today is really gonna be focused on the liner, I wanna make sure that I have a really sharp line. And so I'm actually gonna go in with scotch tape and line it up from my lower lash line to the tip of my brow and just so that I have a line to follow along with. And now we're gonna look really cute like this for the rest of the video. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm gonna do since I've already primed my eyes just with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm gonna go in with my transition shade. Now the main palette I'm gonna be using today is the Chocolate Bar palette from Too Faced, but since I'm really pale, it doesn't necessarily have a super light transition shade. And I wanna do a lot of different layering with shades today just so I get a really cool gradient effect. So I'm gonna go in with Makeup Beak Peach Smoothie and put that right in my crease with a fluffy brush. The next shade I'm going in with is gonna be another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This one's Creme Brulee. I'm gonna put that pretty much where I put Peach Smoothie, just a tad bit lower. So now that we have our Pale Girl transition shades in place, I'm gonna go in with the Chocolate Bar palette. The first shade I'm gonna use is gonna be this one, the Salted Caramel. And see, if you're a little bit darker than me, you could have gone in straight in with this as your transition shade. It just is a little tan for me, so I need the lighter ones. And I want this look to be super blended, so between each stage, I'm actually gonna go in with my original brush and just blend out whatever shade I did just to make sure everything looks really seamless. The next shade I'm gonna be going in with is going to be Milk Chocolate right here. I'm gonna be putting that pretty much where I put salted caramel, just a little bit lower. So I'm pretty much gonna be using just all the browns in this palette, you can bet on that. <laughs> the next shade I'm gonna be going in with is Semi Sweet, and I'm actually gonna get a different brush since this is darker. This one is a little bit smaller and a little bit more densely packed, that way I can be more precise on where I put the color. And I'm just gonna go in and put this right kind of lower underneath the crease. Now this is the color that you really want to build up because you don't wanna go in when we smoke out the liner and make it look really harsh. So I'm just gonna build up this color. I'm actually going to mix it with Triple Fudge, this really dark one, and put it just a little bit lower. So next I'm gonna be going in with my lid shade and you could totally, I'm gonna to do something golden. So you could totally use the creme brulee shade in this palette, it's really pretty. Um, but I'm actually gonna use something different just because I have it on hand. This is a Natasha Denona palette and I'm gonna be going in with Golden Flesh, which is just this first gold shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush. And I'm dropping everything. You know, just a gold shadow. Now that we have the gold on our lid, I'm actually gonna go back in with triple fudge and semi-sweet and deepen up that outer corner again, just so that we don't lose any of that depth. So now comes the fun slash hard part. I'm gonna be putting on the liner, which is what we're gonna be smoking out. 
And I'm actually gonna be using the Milani Stay Put Matte Liner. And I'm just gonna be following along that line of tape. Now, obviously the tape makes it easier, but it does not mean that I still won't mess up. So pray for me. Okay, so we never know how this is really gonna look until I take the tape off, but I think I think it's pretty good. The one thing about this liner you have to be really careful of is to kind of let it dry first, because if it gets on that row of lashes, it's really wet when you first put it on, and it'll transfer uh, to your eyelid. So just make sure that it's dry. So after we've applied the wing liner, I'm gonna go in with a dark shade. I'm gonna be using triple fudge with a really dense, tiny brush. And I'm gonna layer it over where I did the liner and smoke it out a little. Now when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're following the shape of the liner, which is kinda of like out and into that inner corner. So I went in with that dark brown shade first just to get a base, and now I'm gonna go in with a black, which unfortunately this palette doesn't have, uh, but you can use a Makeup Geek shadow, you can use any black you have. I'm gonna use this one from MAC that I have put a magnet on the bag of, and I don't have the name of it. I'll try and find it and write it down below. And I'm gonna take this shade with the same brush and do the same thing, just a little bit more precisely. So now that I've smoked out my liner to my desired depth, and you can go as dark or as light as you want, I'm gonna take off this tape and we're gonna cross our fingers. Ooh, wow, wow. I was scared there for a minute that I had kind of messed up this eye because the wing was, didn't look even on the tape. But wow, that looks good. Oh, I'm so happy with that. So I went ahead and put on mascara using the L'Oreal mascara that I love. And I was gonna put on lashes, but mine are actually looking really good. And you can see the smoked liner, which I really, really like. So this is the final look. I love how it turned out. I think the eye looks so cool. And it's perfect for going out with your friends, going on a date, or like me, I'm about to go furniture shopping. You can literally wear this anywhere. So if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, please like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.